I had never known any of the operatic works of Castanueva Tedesco, and I got curious, actually, one day. I was listening to some symphonic music of his, and I thought, wow, this guy has like all the skill set for writing opera. Well, he's Italian, and uh, he has a sense of lyr lyricism and melody and drama, and I thought, this, he has to have written an opera. And so I went, you know, in this day and age when you don't have to wonder anything, I went to the Wikipedia page of Mario Castelnuova Tedesco, and there it was. His last opera was the setting of the importance of being earnest, which just the idea fascinated me. It fascinated me even more so to find out that it was set uh, for a very strange orchestra, duo piano and two percussionists. So at that point I was hooked and uh, had to see the score and had to hear what it sounded like. We found the manuscript score. This opera has never been published. It was in the Library of Congress, and we got in contact with the family, his granddaughter actually, and uh, she gave us the permission, or actually gave the Library of Congress the permission to give us a copy of the manuscript and uh, we've been resurrecting this opera. It feels like we're doing a premiere with the composer himself in a way, except it's 40, no, it's 55 years after it was written. What you really are is a blind priest. You are one of the most advanced blind priests I know. I was first attracted to the idea because of the, the play. Uh, it struck me as a kind of a strange combination, this style of composer and this kind of play. And then when I got into it, what I realized is that he had created this incredible quilt, building an entire opera based on quotation. So throughout the entire opera, there are dozens, and uh, I've, I've still haven't identified them all, quotations of famous operas and other classical music, and even some popular music which are woven into the uh, fabric of the composition, like a, the, the building blocks. You know, composers are, have often used quotations, but I've never known a piece that was completely made up of quotations. I mean, there is original music in it that binds it together and provides the transitions, but the, the premise of the piece is to build something out of quotation, and it's amazing how well it uh, supports the spirit and the panache of the play. I think this is a performance for all sorts of different kinds of people. This is a performance for people who love Oscar Wilde, to see the play it put in this uh, in this fashion is a real treat. It, it, it illuminates things about the play, as all opera should. It illuminates things about the text. It's great for people who want a fun night out because you don't have to know all the quotations from the opera to enjoy this. But you'll find if you don't that there'll be people beside you snickering, uh, and you'll wonder why. So I think it appeals to you know, fans of comedy and fans of sophisticated wordplay and music fans and especially opera fans because I think this is a chance to be on Jeopardy Opera, famous opera quotations hidden within a famous play known for its quotations. Be delayed.